We're back from Dublin. Paul Gellin here for theCUBE at the Software AG, International User Groups Conference, winding up day two and just coming off an interesting presentation by Ronaldo Rubiero, who is the IT manager at Cinebra, about how they completed a transition to S4 HANA, SAP S4 HANA, during the pandemic, uh, with the help of Aris for uh, scheduling a very complex project. Ronaldo, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, thank you so much for the invite to stay uh, with you today. It's my pleasure to stay here. Uh, tell us a little bit about Cinebra, what business you are in. Cinebra is a, a pulp mill in the South America. We are in Brazil, located in, in the south of Brazil. And uh, we produce uh, pulp, uh, pulp craft from eucalyptus. We export our production, 100%, near 100% of our production to North America. Asia and Europe. We are the Japanese capital, and uh, we, we follow uh, every every regulation that have in is possible, is necessary, and we have a strong uh, management environment, management because our sustainability depends of this. Sustainability is an important part of your charter. Yes, charter. important part. Uh, how, how large a, an estate uh, of forests do you, do you have? We have 254,000 uh, hectares of forests in Minas Gerais. 254,000 yes, hectares. Yes, 42%, 41, 42% of this, uh, this land is uh, for the uh, natural for the native species. Only 54% of this is to planted forests uh, by eucalypto, on eucalypto. It's a commitment to sustainability. Yes, yes. So you have been uh, using SAP for a long time. For a long time. You realized a few years ago that you had to make a transition. Why? Why? The, why did you want to make the transition when you when you chose to make it? Yes, yeah, so we have been using SAP uh, since 2000. O2. So during this time, just 20 years, and uh, we have been doing the upgrades. But uh, there's one time that, that was impossible to do the upgrades anymore because uh, our hardware was uh, losing warranty, and uh, uh, the other situation uh, forced us to change our version. So we have been studying. Uh, to new version for a long time, and we decided with the directors to approve the investment to do the change uh, from SCC, uh, ECC to S400. This was a huge decision. It's not a, a, a cheap project. It's involved most of uh, uh, people from the, the, the corporation. It's very important. So it was necessary to do a, a, a huge schedule and a huge planning and we did this to have uh, to increase our uh, automatization of our process and uh, to improve the, the 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 velocity of our uh, processing. It was uh, losing some uh, times during the the financial the, uh, in the, the end of each month. So it was a, a, a very uh, important project for Sendibra. So you got the approval to go ahead in 2019. You began the migration in 2020. We all know what happened then. How did the arrival of the pandemic affect your plans? Oh my God, it's, it's a huge problem to us. We never been managing projects before uh, remotely. So when we uh, start the project, the pandemic starts together. So we have a, a, a difficult decision to continue with person or stop the project. So uh, Cineba decided with the directors to continue the project. It's, it was our first project that we did uh, completely remotely. It was, uh, this project was a 13 month planned. We stayed during uh, the completely 13 months remotely. So, um, so you completed the entire project remotely. The entire project. Remotely. That's remarkable. Yes, I, I, I never been, I never stay with the manager from the partner that uh, we contract to help us. I never stay together. So you weren't able you, to meet 
Yes, we never have one meet presentially and can you, in person. Can you say how many people were involved in this migration? 178 people. 178 people. Uh, yes, it's in interesting because uh, we built a new uh, building so everybody goes to the earth before the pandemic. The pandemic came. We get uh, this, this, uh, this building for we transfer this for other area to use for others other situation in Sevilla, and we learn how to manage the project remotely. It was the first project of SAP that uh, well, from uh, the migration for S for S four hundred did completely remotely. The first project in the world. So you you were making this up, and SAP is making it up yes, as you go yes. along. Uh, how did Eris uh, enter into your your cycle? Yes, every area was involved no, on this project. Uh, it's amount of of people, in, uh, a huge amount of people there, and uh, there's one a part of people from the the partnership, the partner that we we we, we hire, and there's amount of people. It was uh, from Zenibra for the IT team. There's of amount of people that was the key users like, mm -hmm. from the area. They are uh, get from the area and goes to your house and they stay completely dedicated on for the project during this or 13 months. We hire people to uh, supply the areas during this project. And I understand, I saw your presentation, a remarkable amount of testing was required. Uh, thousands of tests were, were yes. involved. Why was the testing load so so large? Yes, uh, SAP in Sinidra is a um, whole process. Even forest, uh, back office, maintenance, operational, our commercial area, everything inside. Every part of your every operation. Every part inside the SAP. So, when we do the synchronization between uh, Aris tools with the solution manager, Aris tools from Software AG, solution manager from SAP. When you do this, uh, each task was generated and goes through the case of tests. So um, it's uh, to do it manually, it's almost impossible to have um, certainly of everything. When you get these automatically, they list. In case of Cinebu this project, it was uh, twelve thousand two hundred cases of tests. Twelve thousand two hundred tests. Yes, D different tests. Different tests by these hundred and seventy-eight people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, uh, in fact, the people that was test on this only the, the the operational area. Right. It was 78, right. only 70. The others is all automation. It's uh, 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 the, the partner and uh, the IT team, the others one. Still a, a phenomenally complex process. So how were you able to uh, to, uh, to core or, or to orchestrate the test so that you knew a test had been completed, you knew it was successful, or you knew that there were, was a problem with it? Uh, how was this all orchestrated? It's very important, the figure of the PMO at that moment. Yeah. If you do not have a good PMO, it's impossible to plan. So uh, the PMO helped us a lot to do this. And during the project, we change our way to manage the project from waterfall to quick tests. So agile methodology. So you so, went to Agile while you were doing... Yes, doing we changed the during the project because... Uh, because it wasn't complex yeah, enough. Yes, yeah, compl it's, uh, it's, it's, it's everything new for us. Yeah. During the project, we decided to do the Agile testing, the Agile, uh, and change to waterfall to the Agile during the project. Well, if you're changing one thing, you might as well change more. <laughs> okay. so, so the project was completed in 13 months, which is, which is remarkable yes, yes, under 13. the circumstances. What has been the impact of that move to S4 HANA on your business? Oh yes, uh, it's a good uh, a good question because uh, when I go to the, my my CEO to ask him about the budget 
to explain about the budgets. They ask me how uh, benefits you will give to be, to the business. In uh, exactly moment, it's not a, a, a good benefit. But after this, nowadays we are, we have been doing some automatization of our process. Nowadays uh, we have probability possibility to do the uh, the applying AI in our process. In the past, it was very very difficult. And uh, all the thing uh, is the the time of uh, to run and the machine. So uh, our process was uh, completely delayed each time by time, each month by month. So we have the risks in the past and uh, the, our system is stopped. So we renew the machines, we need to renew the, the servidors. So everything is okay just now. And uh, some tasks uh, in the past was um, run in the long time. So the, nowadays it's, uh, everything is normal. It's uh, important to, to have uh, um, less risk compared to the past. The other important thing, we have two companies in Brazil, in uh, near Senibra, Senibra and Senibra Log, logistic company. One company has SAP, the other one has another ERP. So during this, during this migration, we do the, uh, you have been using the same system. Now, every, every, um, every manager of these two companies in the same system, and now it's in SAP. So your logistics company and your forest yes. product company are now, yes. are now in the same system. And you mentioned AI. What are you doing with AI? How, how is that benefiting your business? Yes, uh, we, we, we are building the, the correct way for the AI. Right. And uh, we have an initiative of AI already. And uh, with uh, lots of benefits, we can, uh, we can discuss about, we have um, forests and we monitor our forests with CFTV, with uh, images. Mm -hmm. And um, when we have some uh, fire, the smoke, the AI can identify in the beginning of the, the fire. Oh, it's fantastic. And can suggest us to, uh, to go there uh, quickly, to the team of the firemen to go there quickly. So it's one case, but you have a lots of cases, for example, uh, to read the reports from the maintenance team, to do the resume of these reports, and to generate the maintenance maintenance order, to uh, and send to the the right uh, team to do the maintenance. You can so you can gather all the maintenance yes, data yes. and generate a, a manifest of schedule for your perfectly, maintenance team. Perfectly, perfectly. So it's a true of case that we have, we have a lots of case, but nowadays we have been working uh, together to list the main suggestion of uh, AI cases. And uh, for the next year, we will plan uh, to install the more priority case for the company. So we, 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 we already have three important meetings with the areas. They will suggest the process that need to uh, to have. It. We we will put it in the spreadsheet, and we will classify this what is most important at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will decide to use case by case. We will go to the market, of course, to help us to build AI for uh, to increase and uh, to re uh, to increase our efficiency, reduce costs of uh, of course, and to improve our corporation day by day. And uh, it's an important case for me, for the, uh, the Celebra. It's uh, our goal for the next year, for this year, for the next year. And the president of the company wait a lot with this case of AI helping out the, the process. Uh, how important was the S4 HANA to laying the foundation for yes, your AI? Yes, it's a good question. Uh, the importance well, is of the, the facility to exchange data with the other system. It's the main point that I'd like to, mm -hmm. to comment. Because in your old ECC system, said data was locked it's up. It's quite and difficult. Really difficult to, to migrate. There's a way to, to exchange data, but it's quite difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, foundation, hope you've laid foundation for a new company. The pandemic now has passed, and 
and you were able to uh, to maybe laugh about the situation, but yes, it certainly was a remarkable story you told today, and uh, congratulations. And uh, thank you so much. Much luck to you, Ronaldo Ribeiro, IT manager at Cinebro. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Cube today. Thank you so much. I'm we'll be back from Dublin. After you party.